the big question, David, is do they work? Do they really keep your food and beverages colder longer? So now I sure have a little I, test that, that we did. Okay. okay. So we have three coolers. Typically, what people will do is they'll put ice in their cooler. But what happens? The ice melts, and then what happens is you get a wet, soggy mess. Nobody's going to want to eat that. Now that's mm -mm. an exaggeration. But if you actually do have a lot of ice in there and it melts, that's what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. right? Okay. So now over here we have our thermofreeze um, cooler. Here we have the, the thermofreeze sheet in the back, the gel pack back here. But because you cannot conform it around your food and beverages, it's not going to keep it colder longer. So here's the thermometers we did in the front. And if you look here, you'll see here, three hours and 59 minutes ago, we set these two coolers up. Okay. This cooler. We're going to try to come in a little lower, I think, you okay. guys, and, and grab those thermometers. And Can just we do see that? the temperatures here. Okay. Oh, we have the little insert. Okay. So oh, now you'll see. I'm sorry. If I'm you look them. here, we have three hours and 59 minutes ago. The milk in the thermofreeze cooler is 50. Let me see here. 32 degrees, David. The milk in the cooler with the gel packs over here is 50 degrees. That's because it doesn't conform around it to keep it colder mm, longer. Okay. So which milk would you rather yeah, drink? Yeah, right? I don't. I don't drink warm milk. I know some people do it <laughs> try to help them sleep, but that's not my gig. No, All I right, wouldn't like. So